start of a new video how you all doing when i say it's been gloomy <laughs> another gloomy rainy day um i don't know what to say but yeah other than that it's, it's been a great morning um i was just sitting up here i had made me a little regular coffee today because the cold brew just i don't know i had about drunk that cold brew yesterday it really really had kind of knocked me out a little bit so i just said because cold brew a little stronger than regular instant coffee so um depending on how tomorrow i might bring i might drink a cup before i do receive my schedule i do go back to work tomorrow um i work but today is thursday i work friday saturday all sunny money work tuesday wednesday thursday when i say it, it's just like a roller coaster with these days and working i'm like it just <laughs> I've been on Indeed looking um, looking up different jobs because I think I'm going to have to try to seek and out and start looking for something else to do on the side because the way how my hours are, you know, one week I might work five days, two days out of the next week, four days, three days. It just is not, you know, adding up, especially when everything is so expensive and high, but, you know, they want to increase your pay. And it's it's causing most people um, have to, you know, and, and I know in this day and time, a lot of people are probably working two jobs or, you know, some people working two jobs and got like a little sad hustle. But with me, I'm still kind of trying to decide on like um, what, else, you know, what I really want to do as far as, um, you know, making money, extra money on the side. I haven't decided on that yet, but. Uh, you know, all I can do is just stay encouraged and continue to trust God. Cause like I say, it's just, it's really, life is really life. And, and I'm seeing that now because, you know, one minute you can be like this and the next minute you, you know, so it's like, I'm just learning every day to just, you know, make the best out of it and just, you know, keep it moving. But it is really sad because, you know, everything study increasing, continue to continue to increase, but they won't increase the salary because in my opinion, one job really should be able to take care of everything. That's one reason why I haven't even actually went out and bought a cell phone because I think I was telling someone, and that's another thing I'm learning too, is some things like, you know, if a person give you like negative feedback, it's to know not to talk to that person about, you know, certain little things that you, you know, trying to, pursue. well, I ain't gonna say I'm trying to pursue a phone, but it, it just in general speaking, like you can't sometimes in this day and time can't really hold conversations with everybody on, you know, a certain like financial 
issues that you might be encountering. You know, people are hollering about, oh, you know, you should be making this amount of money, but that's, that's not the case. Most people look at things, servers make a lot of money, servers do not make a lot of money. It just depends on, you know, um, the day and the business. Cause like I say, in this day and time, not everybody, you know, um, believe in, um, you know, tipping servers. So tips usually be some, some part or of a service income but that's one reason why I'm glad I didn't even get the, you know, went out and purchased me a cell phone because I think prior, I think like prior to the week that my phone went out, I had went to this little place here and they, I think it's some type of uh, like a dealer where they specialize in different phone services here in the city. And so if you have like either old phone, like this phone that I have, I had the last four years that I always, I just really use this for vlogging purposes but um, I was I was tending on trying to see if I can get this phone back on, but he told me that I would have to take this phone because this phone used to be on the, a phone company called Metro PCS, and I don't even know if they even still have Metro here, you know, in Memphis because the two locations that I was familiar with, they no longer there. Like, they literally went out of business or moved to a different area. And so he said if I would have got this phone turned back on, that he could have, you know, had added service to it and um but i just made up my mind i'm just gonna you know uh, wait for the little government unlimited phone to come in the mail i don't know why these folks started sending me an email with the former t company that i went with study hiding by we heard that you ready to transfer your services out yes because the phone that i had with you all no longer work so why should I keep service going when the phone will not come back on? Like, I still have the old phone because I'm not going to throw it away. I have heard so many stories, like horror stories, when it come down to devices and stuff. Not, they say you should throw out old phones or old computers because sometimes people can pick up these things and get your information out of them. I didn't know folks do stuff like that, but I know in the days and time we're living in, it don't surprise me what people wouldn't do or, you know, capable of doing because you got a lot of scamming going on out here as well. But I didn't throw the phone away because um, I know the phone was tied to my, it had my job. Like I had the, the little app we use for my job tied to that. And I said, well, which I wasn't going to throw it away anyway. But I have heard stories of people saying you shouldn't throw your, you know, electronic devices out. But um, yeah, I'm just, like I said, I'm waiting on that phone to come. But yeah, I, I, I'm the type... If I don't have to put extra bills on myself, why, you know, put more than what I can bear or handle? I'm not finna do that, you know, especially with the way how my income is and how I see how these jobs, because it's pretty much the schedule that I got this upcoming week was like last week. I work Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and I was out Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So it's like, you know, these, that's why I tell people, you know, it's always good to have a, a job, but in this time, I see why a lot of people, saying that it's good to, you know, use your talent or find something that you're very good at, enjoy doing and try to, you know, see, can you pursue that as a career? And I'm seeing it now because I feel like these jobs in, in, in general, you know, which I feel like is good. You know, there's nothing wrong with having a job. Like I say, I tell y'all, I'm always blessed to have a job, but it always something to come, you know, come with, you know, your blessings. And like I say, in my case, it's like I never know what, you know, what days I'll be scheduled to work or if I'm ever going to have, you know, some amount of days. So um, I feel like these companies really pushing people to become their own boss, in my opinion. Because for one, the pay don't add up to what the amount of work you have to do. And then for two, like with my situation, you know, one week you might work me five days, which is the normal full-time employee days where you work five days and you be out two days, you know, but I feel like four days and three days out, that's considered part-time. And like I say, we haven't really been having many banquets from the, like I say, when I told you all about the banquet we had last month. So it really ain't really been that many banquets, but around this time it does get slow in the um, hotels, you know, it, it, it just had works in this industry. But, um, I'm, I said I'm a, cause I don't know if it's gonna rain tomorrow when I get off of work. I had thought about going to this other hotel. They just opened up a new hotel right down the street from where I work at, and I see they got a little bar, 
and I'm willing to learn to bartend. That's something really been on my mind. But I know I do need to renew my uh, ABC server permit license. When I say I don't know if my ass was playing tricks on me yesterday when I was looking at their website because I was informed when we had to renew, unless I'm paying for this class, it said something about $60. Like I got to go back through the whole class. But I was informed that it was twenty five. It was what twenty five dollars to renew your ABC license. So I think I'm gonna ask, um, cause I work with someone in the morning. I might ask my coworker about this before I actually um, pay this sixty dollars for when I do, um, you know, attend in the class. Cause I see that they do have little scheduled dates on there. But I do gotta hear up and get that taken care of. Renew my license cause my license had expired back here in June of this year. So I do gotta get a new one because I just never know. Um, yeah, we had like people come to come in the hotel cause really on my shift cause I mostly work the mornings. I never really, oh uh -uh, my nose itch. I really just never had nobody that's asked about a, a drink or alcohol to drink at the current moment. But I know it's like on nights, you know, they always buy alcohol. I, you know, I really don't work nights. I mostly be there in the mornings if I'm, you know, working in the restaurant, but yeah, I do got to get that taken care of. But I say it's like, it's a roller coaster. Like you just never know. So it's like, I'm, I'm just on for the ride. That's why I just, like I say, I just try to stay encouraged. I encourage anybody, you know, to do the same as well. Just be encouraged. Cause like I said, these times it's just, they, they so uncertain, especially when it come down to, you know, where you got to take care of yourself and your families, you know, if you, if you have children or if you just, you know, got to take care of yourself in general, you just never know because you never know what decisions people are going to choose to make, especially when you, you know, like I say, in my case, I'm still currently working for someone. I never know what days or, you know, if I'm going to have some days to work, you know, but. Yeah, so I just said I'm going to, um, because indeed, like I say, I have a resume on file. Like I say, I might just, I hope it don't rain because it, it's been raining these last couple of days. Like it's pretty gloomy today. But yeah, I said I might, you know, if it don't rain tomorrow, I, I probably will go down there and, uh, you know, submit, a, seeking I submit an application in. But um, yeah, so yeah, because I'm, I'm going to have to do something else. You know, I, I'm thinking I haven't really did yet because like I said, it's been a long week, this, this past week that just passed. It's been a long week and I was supposed to have looked up, you know, looked up some information about, you know, starting, um, you know, how can you work for yourself, if, you know, while you're working a job and, but yeah, cause it's, it's really getting challenging. I mean, it's really challenging at the moment. I um ended up, I had read, what did I read? My little daily devotion book. When I say that book be coming in handy, it, it'd be so, I'd be so amazed to read that book. You know, I read two pages a day out of it. And that book is really, really inspiring. Like I say, it, it, it's, it's like it's a word all up in that little, you know, in the little morning devotion, daily devotion. But then I had also read, I had read Timothy. And I um, I think I read Timothy chapter three. And I also read the first chapter of Acts. When I say between both of them chapters combined, <laughs> The, the two is it, really stating back to what I'm saying now about, you know, staying encouraged through the storm or, you know, staying encouraged through the midst of, you know, what you might be facing. And it's like, it's a wake up call, but I'm glad that I was directed. One of my um, subscribers, she had mentioned to me that she was directed to Acts. And I told her when I had got through, because I was really supposed to finish reading Joshua, but I haven't finished that up yet. So it's like, I just been skipping Psalms 91, when I say that's that's been my go-to scripture, but today I just decided to check out Acts 1, and then I read Timothy. Like, some of these scriptures that I usually highlight, because I think I pretty much went through all the scriptures that I had. Um, yeah, I think I did, because I had checked, like, the scriptures that I had wrote down on the healing journey process, so I'm finished with all those. I need to probably look on Pinterest. I end up down, downloading Pinterest, too, to this device, and so, um, yeah, so, yeah. 
And I'm also currently, I had ordered a, another tripod holder. When I say I had at least about five tripod holders, I'm hoping and praying, I'm having my fingers crossed that this new tripod holder really does work. I'm going to try my best to take care of, which I feel like I t tried my best to take care of the last set of tripod holders that I have got. It's like I said, this would be the fifth one. Um, I had ordered this one off of eBay. I think I had, yeah, this is the first time I ordered one from eBay. I was going to go with Amazon, but like I say, between eBay and Amazon, sometimes you can't find great deals on eBay, and eBay don't always charge for shipping. Sometimes they might, you know, charge for a little tax on it, but, you know, Amazon got to the point now where they can be a little pricey on the, the shipping side, like if, um, if you don't do the Amazon Prime. I used to do Amazon Prime, but I just, in this time, I couldn't afford to be having a certain amount of money taken out of my car monthly for the Prime. But but don't get me wrong, the Amazon Prime is pretty good to have, but for my sake, I just don't want it. And uh, with eBay, like I said, it just depends on what merchandise you get. They might not always charge for the, the shipping or whatever. But yeah, I have priced a... a uh, a tripod holder last week on there, and I think I paid like fourteen ninety some on there, fourteen ninety nine, fifteen. It's between one of them prices, and it's supposed to come today. But I think I probably just do that as an unboxing um, video. You know, that'll be a separate video because it say it, it say it's supposed to come around five p.m. in the evening. And I hope to have this video up before that time. So, yeah, that'll be a, like an unboxing. Because I don't think I never did an unboxing video. Yeah, though, I like watching them kind of videos myself. So, that'll be like a separate little short video. But, yeah, I'm, I got my hands crossed. I hope it lasts. Because I'm so tired of buying tripod holes. But I know I need another one. Especially, like, when I'm out in public vlogging and stuff. It's be so many little scenes I'd be wanting to capture and I get tired I always have to hold the phone what so if I had the tripod hold I can you know uh, stretch it out and you know have the device right there but yeah other than that um like I said my morning been great uh oh why is I'm starting to some coffee I be hating when I fill my little coffee cup up I hate when I be at the um and I be filling it all the way up unless it's this top. Yeah, waste some coffee. But that coffee was good though. I ended up I didn't want to keep using up all my little vanilla syrup. I got some more of that left. I think when I do another Instacart with Kroger again, um, I'm gonna give me another bottle. Unless Aldi might have, but I don't know because some stuff Aldi might not care because Aldi is a lot cheaper than Kroger. Um, if Aldi don't have it, I probably, like I say, just, um, get it from Kroger, but yeah, they do sell the caramel, the caramel syrup. I mean, they got the caramel syrup too. And they also had the caramel, the can where you can drizzle and make, cause I be want to make my own little ice caramel macchiatos at home. Cause I haven't really, I don't think I have bought no more caramel, caramel macchiato cream lady, the last cream that I have for caramel macchiato I used it up last week so I haven't bought no more since so I just got some regular one percent milk in the fridge and I just been kind of you know using that that's just been my go-to for my uh, morning iced coffees but yeah I go back to work tomorrow make the best out of the day but yeah it's really something though but overall it's like I said it's been great I was watching um Jackie Ina this morning looking at one of her makeup videos and I say Jackie Ina got me so obsessed with makeup. Her, uh, her, I am Shelly and Maya, uh, Maya Galore. They have some very great makeup artists. I, I love to watch them even uh, when they like vlog. And like, I never really watched Jackie Ina vlog. I mostly watch, I catch a lot of her older makeup videos, but like I am Shelly and Maya Galore, they, you know, they do a lot of lifestyle vlogs as well. And they, you know, sometimes come in and they show you how to do their makeup. And um, lady is like with me, when I've been doing my makeup, I've been getting so inspired by looking at those three, you know, queens on how they, you know, apply makeup. 
But I've been trying to let my, um, like, I don't have any makeup on now. When I say that, I was telling y'all, when I say that stuff really is clearing my skin up, I had to my skin, uh, wash my face this morning with the Cerevi, and I didn't do nothing but put on some um, shea butter, the African shea butter rub, and it's like the African shea butter just making my skin look so glowy. And I also have been trying to just let my natural eyelashes breathe for sake because my natural eyelashes before I started wearing false lashes, they used to be long. Like they literally used to be like the length of the, the strip lashes I wear. And so I just been trying to play around with little different makeup routines on, you know, um, with that. So yeah, I um but yeah, I think yeah, I think that um just been trying to come up with some ideas and stuff. So I just been kinda of binge watching um um though they're you know, when they be uploading like makeup routines in their videos but yeah but yeah I think that'd be all like I don't really have anything much planned today um I do need to do some laundry <sighs> and um yeah so I can wash because like I said I do go back in tomorrow and have my work clothes ready for the next two days and then I'm out Sunday and Monday which I'm not mad about like I said everything happening for a reason that just giving me more time to be more creative and you know, get this content posted. That's how I just been looking at it anyway, too. They give me more time to create on here. So, but yeah, I just want to come in and say how you doing, how you all doing. <laughs> I'm back. Um, as you all seen in the last clip, I had ended up, I, I had just placed the Instacart um, little haul. Well, I ain't going to do a haul. It wasn't real numbers of fruit items I put up, so it really wasn't no worth, but you all probably seen in the last clip, putting the items away. I had got low on, I had needed more soap, so that's what made me need a little small cart um, today. But I needed some more of this, too, because I had ran out of this mouthwash. When I say I'm a dick, this is my second time purchasing this mouthwash. It's Chris. Yeah, I know I've been telling you I've been trying to goggle my teeth, and I've been dealing with, I think, like, um, I don't know if my teeth was like cavities. I feel like it was a cavity somewhat, but I've been kind of, you know, goggling my mouth down with mouthwash. When I say this was so good right here, I had bought it um, a little bit while back. I think I showed it to you all, but I had got it from Walmart the first time, but I ended up getting it from Family Dollar with my Instacart. I saw it on there and I had to jump right on it. But it's a nice little size, big bottom. And when I say Chelsea, <laughs> I am Chelsea Janae. Uh, she's a big YouTuber on here that I follow. When I say she got me so hooked on this ivory, because um, I'm almost getting pretty low on my Nivea body wash. So I ended up getting this for uh, for stock. When I say this is pretty good to use, even for like if you um, don't have soap, because like I have, I have ordered some soap for Family Dollar, but they didn't have the the particular dial that I would, uh, like I normally get like the white dial and the, yellow dial those are the two antibacterial dials that i you know prefer I, i'm i'm not too big on a lot of perfume fragrance soaps if i do get perfume fragrance soaps i usually use it for the upper part of my body and you know when i wash my legs stuff but down in my you know in that area i try to be careful what i use so this right here you can use it in the you know your in that area this um ivory is unscented like i've been telling yeah this is like the original scent when i told y'all she got me hooked this is like my third time buying this and i had to jump on this when i had did the car i said chelsea <laughs> chelsea got your girl hooked on this but yeah i got some more of this but yeah it was just like a little small little fruit items that's why i say the next time i do another little mini grocery haul or Dollar Tree Family Dollar Haul. I get y'all like you know show y'all exactly what products, but I just felt like it wasn't no need to you know just really because it wasn't a lot of stuff I got just little small little you know fruit items. I ended up getting some deodorant too, a two pack for me and my daughter. It's like these stores really be running out of the powder scent. Like the scent that I got is say a sweet 
it's a sweet tea. It's a, like a sweet fragrance kind, but it's going to have to work because you girl, I, I really prefer like powder scented deodorants, but like I say, some deodorants better than no deodorant because I ain't trying to be walking around here smelling, you know, musty on the arm. So I had just, you know, which I had already had a bottle of deodorant, but I just, you know, for extra, just to, for a bag up, I had got another two pack from there. But yeah, I just ended up getting them little fruit items. I mean, I'm doing a little load of laundry. Um, yeah, so I think once I get through talking to you all, I'm gonna probably going to edit this video and going to get it up. But yeah, I mean, I'm doing some laundry at the moment. So yeah, but I'll be talking to you all until the next video. You all continue to have a great, I pray that you all have a great upcoming week. I pray that your day be continue to be great for you. Stay hydrated because your girl, she got her water. Every time I get through drinking me a good iced coffee, I got to put my water in here. Try to stay hydrated, stay warm. Until the next time.